for many years, a number of NBA teams and players seeking comfort during trips to New York and easy access to the home arenas of the New York Knicks and Brooklyn Nets favored the Trump Soho Hotel. But as President Donald Trump's politics and actions have resulted in clashes with many in the NBA and in the sporting world at large, the reverberations have begun to negatively affect some of the hotels that bear his name. According to a report in the Washington Post, teams across America's four major professional sports have in recent years begun avoiding Trump hotels and droves. After Trump entered the U.S. presidential race in June 2015, campaigning with rhetoric that many in communities of color found to be divisive, NBA teams were among the first to discontinue their relationships with Trump hotels, according to Tim Bontemps and David Ferrant hold of the Post. That summer, the Indiana Pacers stopped staying at Trump Soho. A spokesman blamed problems with bus access. So did the Dallas Mavericks, whose owner, Mark Cuban, became one of Trump's loudest critics in 2016. Cuban declined to comment about the team's decision. In 2016, after Trump had captured the GOP nomination, more NBA teams left. The Memphis Grizzlies quit Trump Soho. No connection to politics, the coach said. So did the Thunder. The team would not comment on why. The Milwaukee Bucks stopped being Trump customers the following year, after first trying and failing to pull out of a Trump Chicago reservation during the preseason, according to team officials. When the Bucks returned to Chicago in the regular season, they had a new hotel. Soon after Election Day, Mark Stein reported that the Milwaukee Bucks, Dallas Mavericks and Memphis Grizzlies were avoiding staying at Trump properties. Bucks forward Jabari Parker was among the most vocal supporters of his team's decision.